Ben Schwartz appears throughout the Jake and Mir series. In the final episode of the show, it is revealed that all of Ben Schwartz's various crazy characters are actually all different people and not the same recurring character. But what if this isn't the case? I propose that Ben Schwartz actually plays one single character throughout the series, but he is a time traveller. A time traveller sent from the future to ruin Jake and Amir's life. This may sound like a crazy theory, but there are plenty of hints throughout the series. For example, in Milkman, Ben has some expired milk that is dated from 1991. Milkman, please, a tall glass of your least expired milk. Absolutely, I have July 13th. It's pretty expired. That's good. 1991. Now, the milk certainly looks expired, but maybe by a week or two, not 21 years. In Private Eye, Ben says that time doesn't matter. What happened? What time is it? Where am I? What'd you do? Time doesn't matter, but let me tell you this. Which would be very true if you were a time traveller. Furthermore, Ben refers to Y2K as a couple of months back. <laughs> With two hands. Y2K, you remember that a couple months back? Listen. But this episode aired in 2010, which is obviously many years after the Y2K scare. In Interrogator, Ben grows a goatee within a split second. You grew a goatee? Shut the fuck up! Which is only really explained if Ben can time travel. Also in this episode, Ben has a list of previous occupations, which only really makes sense if his character is all the same person. There is also some more flimsy evidence, such as Ben appearing out of thin air in Milkman, or Ben easily coming up with a fake name in Milkman. My name is C Charles. But then struggling later in Movie Day. Sulu Candles. Assuming that coming up with names would get easier over time. But who cares, right? Jake and May ended years ago, so this fan theory is pretty pointless. But what if I told you that this theory could be a direct connection to Headgum. You could argue all day whether the Jake and Amir and the Headgum videos are the same characters from Jake and Amir, but I like to think they are. Throughout Jake and Amir, Ben's goal appears to be to ruin Jake and Amir's life. After fucking up their script in the finale, he believes he's defeated him, but then later finds out his attempts have failed because they're running a successful podcast network. So what does he do? He changes his tactics. Instead of going after Jake and Amir directly, he goes for the people around him. He goes for Marty. Ben travels back in time, marries and impregnates Marty's mother, and then divorces her in 2017. We see that this is hugely distressing for Marty, and afterwards we begin to hear that Headgum is failing financially, possibly due to Marty's poor work performance after his parents' divorce. You may be asking how I could possibly make a connection between Ben Schwartz and Marty. Well, we hear that after the divorce, Marty's parents want to distance themselves from Marty and change his name. His new name is Marty Gingivitis, which is a weird name, right? And who do we know who can come up with weird names on the spot? My name is Cherry Dude. I rest my case. Okay. Um, pick a color. Blue. <laughs> All right. Let's you go. ready? Here we go. Tell me my fortune. Oh. Who am I gonna marry, Batch? Uh, you're a single dad. Oof. Uh, you have one kid through a surrogate. <laughs> 